This is the time when fans are having to look around at potential trades because of the upcoming NFL draft in Las Vegas at the end of April. In case your team needs a decent pass rusher for its 3-4 or 4-3 base defense, then it probably requires someone who can do the job up or down the board. Here are NFL's top 10 pass rushers. Sitting at number 10, Nick Benito, Oklahoma, 6'3", 248 pounds. We start with Benito, who has a lot of versatility and he's quite quick given his size. His passing game skills as a rusher are well balanced and also as a cover man. He's got the ability to find an active spot on a 3-4 and can also hold up the end in a sturdy and compact 4-3. These are decent skills and we think he makes the top 10 considering he should be in play within the second round. Next we have Logan Hall, Houston, 6'6", 283 pounds. The 22-year-old Logan Hall from the University of Houston is another bright prospect. His size is probably his biggest strength but he managed manages to match it with speed and is way too explosive for someone that big. Oh, and you're mistaken if you think he can't back all that up with pass rush moves because he's got an insane variety of them. Like Benito and many others on this list, he's versatile and offers a great option to the hybrid schemes in the league. So the likes of the Patriots and Titans will be potential suitors, but keep in mind he's already met with six teams, according to Justin Mello. Then we have Arnold Ebiketti, Penn State, 6'2", 250 pounds. Arnold Ebiketti might not be the tallest, but there are few players that offer the same physicality that he does. Off the back of a terrific season, Ebiketti has managed to polish a lot of his skills over the last year. There's still a way to go before he can fulfill his potential, but he'd make an ideal rusher. Much similar to the likes of Ojibo and Karlafitis, Ebiketti also has some outrageous qualities, but not in the same amount. Could be an early second rounder. Sitting at Number seven, Boya Mafi, Penn State, 6'3", 261 pounds. If the Super Bowl was anything to go by, Boya Mafi has a very bright future ahead of him, and we can't wait to see him in action. He has tremendous athleticism, and if you mix that with his high-level explosiveness as a rusher, you get the complete package. He can turn all this into production, and that's a key factor if he's playing for a team suited to his abilities in particular. Mafi's worked hard, and his training's paid off too, and we think he could be a back and first rounder. Next is George Karlaftis, Purdue, 6'4", 266 pounds. We all love the Greek freak playing for the Bucks, and there's a good chance that we might have another version of the Greek freak in the NFL. Elite athleticism? Karlaftis has it. Pass rushing potential? Immense. He's got so much upside that with the right coaching, he could dominate in any scheme he wishes, but ideally, he's best suited to a 3-4. We've got a lot of expectations from Karlaftis, and we're very excited to see what happens with him. Potentially a first half first rounder, but could be a little deeper into the first. Now at number five, David Ojabo, Michigan, 6'4", 250 pounds. David Ojabo has already developed his pass rushing skills and that makes him a superb option for most teams. He's got bundles of power and speed to burn for ages because the battery on this guy is an energizer and it's absolutely relentless. Ojabo was unlucky to suffer an Achilles injury at Michigan's pro day, Otherwise, he was on the same trajectory as his former teammate Hutchinson. We like Ojibo and we think he's a huge name who has a lot of upsides to not be in the first round. Then we have Kaven Tribido, Oregon, 6'4", 254 pounds. Athletically, there are not better options out there than Tribido. And when you factor in his dynamic ability to be an agile pursuit man and the fact that he's an explosive pass rusher, you can't ask for more. People seem to overlook his power, but we believe that's an another underrated ability that Tribido brings to the table along with his speed. One thing you can question is his consistency, but good coaching can improve that dramatically because he's got a high ceiling and teams should be looking to maximize his potential. Although there have been a few doubts about his love for the game, and that's why he ranks a little lower. Now at number three, Jermaine Johnson II, Florida State, 6'5", 254 pounds. Talking about freakish qualities that can set you apart from the rest of the competition, you've to talk about Jermaine Johnson the second from Florida State. If you're thinking he's a flashy pass rusher, you're probably wrong because he's a much more complete package. He's been a part of Georgia's dominant defense, then he's managed to flex his wings at the Seminole star, and his size has put teams on alert because they like him and they want him. Definitely a first rounder, maybe even in the top 10. Next up is Traven Walker, Georgia, 6'5", 272 pounds. We just talked about Georgia and we immediately realized 
realized that there was a gem in the national championship defense, and that's Trayvon Walker. Somehow, he went under the radar during his time at Georgia, but his rising star was complimented at the combine, and now we have a much more complete package. Walker's explosive. Walker's versatile. Walker's a playmaker that can play at multiple spots up front because of his athleticism and power. Hutchinson's top spot in danger because of Walker, as Walker's being tipped to take over. And at number one, Aiden Hutchinson, Michigan, 6'6", 260 pounds. Undisputed at number one is Hutchinson, and we doubt anyone can question that. Michigan had a big breakout season defensively, and Hutchinson, along with Jim Harbo, were a big part of it. He's proven to be a finisher, a relentless one. Technically sound, he's big, very strong, and has a build that allows him to play 4-3 end. But he's been taking his pass rushing to the next level, and that could lead to him handling multiple 3-4 spots. We don't think he'll slip from number one, but if he does, he can't be any lower than number two. Now in other news, Packers balanced in picks and capital. The Green Bay Packers going into the 2022 NFL Draft look to be the most balanced side with the ideal combination of draft pick volume and draft pick capital. They've 11 draft picks and five in the first 100, which is very impressive. And in context, only the Jaguars and Chiefs have more. As per multiple trade volume metrics, the Packers also rank in the top eight or top 10 for draft pick capital. This bodes well for the Packers future. And if Brian Gutekunst can pull it off, this could be the perfect base for years to come. This could mean that an aggressive player for a top player could be a possible move, as well as impact player at a position of need, like an edge rusher or even a wide receiver. They'll still need to pick the right players, and with a week left in the draft, the Packers fans will be hoping that Gutekunsk and company are working hard with possible combinations. Who would the Jacksonville Jaguars pick at number one? The Jaguars have the first pick, and it's a tough, tough decision for them. While there are many options for them to consider, we believe it's between Aiden Hutchinson and Traven Walker. We've talked about why and how Walker is the biggest challenge to Hutchinson's number one position, and we'll find out soon enough if Hutchinson keeps his first spot. Walker has a raw technique at times, and some see him more as a run defender than a pass rusher. Of course, that's a little harsh, but then again, there's no room for a possible mistake, and the Jaguars need to nail their first pick. That's why there's a decent chance that they go with Hutchinson, because he can bend, burst, and explode and has the leadership skills too. We think Hutchinson keeps his spot and the Jaguars pick him at number one. Daniel Fallell ready to stun NFL. Daniel Fallell, a lot like his Australian counterpart, traveled to the US and learned NFL rules much later. However, there are rumors that given his freak abilities, he could be a very early draft pick, maybe even in the second or third round, and it's a risk worth taking. The Australian offensive tackler tends to leave people and coaches in awe and has a bright future ahead of him. Weighing over 380 pounds, he's got very long arms, and despite his weight, he is surprisingly athletic as well. All of these abilities offer him an edge over opponents, and teams will be looking to bring in and use Falel's X-Factor to their advantage. There are a few questions over his limited playing time so far and his relative inexperience, but some would argue that it adds to his X-Factor. NFL Network's Daniel Jeremiah has called Falel to be a gifted player and we can't wait to see when he gets his move. That's a wrap for this video. Do you agree with our ranking or should someone else have made the cut? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.